Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of Koshik's Astrology. In today's video, I am going to discuss with you very quickly about a small technique and observation you can say that I observed. It is regarding to the sign of Pisces. See, the sign of Pisces signifies multiple things. It signifies in general spirituality, it signifies pleasures, it is the exaltation point of Venus, it is the best place for Ketu and Pisces is also the sign of debilitation of Mercury as Pisces show there is no intellectual uh, boundaries in Pisces. It's all about imagination, spirituality, practicality loses its control and boundaries in Pisces. This is the basic nature of the Pisces. Pisces rules the natural 12th house of the Kar, um, of the Kal Purush Kundli and 12th house signifies uh, pleasures, losses, isolation. Now moving from the basic, the technique which I wanted to share with you was that Pisces shows multiplicity. Now what I mean by multiplicity is that whenever any lord or any planet goes into the Pisces sign, either the significations of that planet or the house which it rules will have multiple, multiple uh, existence in your life. For example, your second lord is in Pisces. This shows you either have so much money that you keep it in multiple bank accounts or this shows you have a very big family. In the third house, if the third lord is in Pisces, this means you have multiple brothers and sisters or third lord also signifies your degrees, your professional degrees. That, that means the person have multiple professional degrees. If I take in consideration the fourth house, fourth house of your chart shows property, vehicle and mother. If a person has fourth lord in Pisces, this shows that the person either has multiple vehicles, multiple property or multiple motherly figures in life. Like his aunt will also be like his mother, his uh, grandmother will be also like his mother, his, uh, uh, his uh, maternal aunts will be like his or her mother. Now coming to the fifth house, fifth house is the house of education. Fifth house is the house of children. Fifth house is the house of your grandfather. Fifth house is the house of your good luck. If somebody's fifth lord goes into the Pisces, we can say that this person will have multiple children or either he will have knowledge of multiple topics or multiple subjects and he will be able to, um, uh, he will be able to present his knowledge of multiple things easily. While a person with the third lord will only have degrees, on the other hand, a person with the fifth lord in Pisces will be able to explain that knowledge also very beautifully. Fifth house also shows your grandfather. So this shows that the person will have multiple grandfather figures in his life. Like uh, his, his, his neighborhood grand uncles will also be treat him like his, their own grandson. His grandfather may be uh, a very affluent person. So there will be very servants, old servant in his house who will treat, who will be just like his grandfather and treat him like uh, their grandson or fifth house as I, as I uh, told you is also the significator of your fame. So, when 5th Lord is in Pisces, the person is famous for multiple things, multiple art, multiple, uh, multiple skills, all these things. Now coming to the 6th house, if the 6th Lord is in Pisces, the person will have multiple types of disease. If 6th uh, Lord also signifies enemies, in the Pisces sign this means that the person will have multiple enemies. If uh, sixth Lord also signified debts and loans. This shows that the pers person will incur multiple debts or multiple loans in his life. Now coming to the seventh house, seventh house shows your business, your spouse, your partner. It also shows the property inherited by your mother. It also shows the uh, source of income of your father. So, in from all these significations, 
either one or two will show this significance of multiplicity if fourth lord if sorry i mean i mean to say seventh lord is in pisces then the person will have either multiple spouses or multiple relationships in life or his mother will have multiple properties incurred from or inherited from her father or the native's paternal maternal grandfather or you can say as it is the 11th house from the 9th house of father the father of the uh, native will have multiple sources of income now coming to the 8th house 8th house is the significator of uh, secrets or hidden wealth or inheritance or in-laws so whenever 8th lord goes into the pisces sign we can say that the person has multiple sources of inheritance of money or very high or good amount of sources of inheritance like his father may be very rich his grandfather will is also very rich his maternal grandfather is also very rich so he has multiple relations from which he can incur inheritance Eighth house also shows your in-laws, as I told you. When eighth lord goes into the Pisces sign, the native can have multiple in-laws. Like I don't mean to say multiple in-laws that he will have multiple marriages, but he has a good number of big family, joint family in-laws who is helping him or her in multiple ways in his personal and professional life. Eighth lord also signifies, as I as I told you, hidden money or uh, or black money or whatever you can say untaxed money. So this person can have a good amount of hidden wealth or untaxed wealth uh, in his bank account in in uh, with him. Now coming to the ninth house, ninth house shows long travel. Ninth house shows. Ninth house shows your gurus. Ninth house shows your father. Ninth house also shows the disease of your mothers. Ninth house also shows the education of your uh, children. So whenever ninth lord is in the Pisces sign, we can say that the father of the native. Uh, there is multiple father figures in the life of native or the mother has multiple disease or multiple body parts are suffering from disease his children has multiple educations or we can say uh, as it is the third house from the seventh house we can say his spouse has multiple siblings so with this you can use the multiple significators and put them in the pisces sign and can tell that this signification is multiplied in your life like in the if the 10th lord is in pisces 10th lord signifies your status 10th lord signifies your career 10th lord signifies uh 10th lord signifies the property of your spouse 10th lord signifies the disease or debts of your children the tenth lord signifies the children of your um, uh, maternal uncle. So, if tenth lord is in the sign of Pisces, you can say that the uh, that uh, the person has multiple profession. The part uh, the person is uh, like uh, like a what you say a free bird or a free agent who works uh, for many firms. Now, uh, as I told you, it is fourth from the seventh house. So the uh, so the spouse may have multiple property multiple property as it is fifth from the seventh house uh, from the sixth house of maternal uncle the maternal uncle may have multiple children now if you take in consideration the fifth house it is the sixth from fifth so the children may have multiple disease or debts or enemies now coming to the 11th house 11th house signifies uh, your source of income 11th house signifies your connection your professional connections the people that you know uh, and at 11th house signify the 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 award you get the reward you get for your hard work so whenever 11th lord goes into the sign of pisces you can say that the person has multiple medals have multiple uh, awards and rewards of various things the if the 11th lord goes into the pisces sign you can also say that the person easily gets uh, increment in his salaries 
the person has multiple small small sources of income like he is dealing in stocks and doing a job also at the same time investing in mutual fund so there is multiple sources of his income 11th house is also the third house from the ninth house so you can say his father has multiple siblings it is the eighth house of your mother of the mother of the native so that means the mother may have multiple uh, sources of income which are hidden or the mother may have good inheritance from her family it is the seventh house from the fifth house this shows that the uh, that the children of the native can have multiple marriages or multiple relationships in life or can have multiple businesses in life now coming to the 12th lord 12th house as i told you signifies isolation it signifies resorts it signify pleasures it signifies uh, uh, hospitals so whenever the 12th house 12th lord goes into the sign of pisces we can say the person is pleasure seeking personality uh, he or she always is looking for pleasure or have multiple sources of getting pleasure in life they may love isolation or may continuously seek for isolation for uh, for enjoyment and pleasure 12th house is the house of losses so we can also say that the person may have multiple losses in life based on the placement of other planets and the 12th house is the 4th house from the 9th house so that means the father of the native may have multiple property it is the 9th house from the house of mother and the 4th house so this shows that the person has a good bhagya in terms of uh, property as 9th uh, lord from the 4th house is in pisces sign of uh, and showing multiplicity so he may buy multiple properties multiple times and sell them to gain money so this is how you can use and judge the multiplicity multiplicity significance of pisces sign and use it in daily life it is a very short video i just wanted to share it with you i just uh, got this thought and worked on it and got the observation so wish to share with all of you please test it and reply back in the comment section Uh, this is it for today's video see you in the next video in coming days bye bye